good morning. This morning we're going to talk about the benefits of fever. See, since it is flu season and lots of people have misconceptions about what the flu is or how the flu works in the person's body, we're going to talk about fevers and how fevers work. Um, fevers are actually designed to help your body fight off any kind of infection or disease that may actually get in it. And so when a fever occurs, oftentimes the first thing people try to do is they try to lower it with a Tylenol or some other form of medication to drop the fever down. But what happens when you do that is you're actually lowering your immune system. Your immune system is designed that every time your temperature goes up by a degree, it activates another part of your immune system. So, for example, each of your immune system levels is operated by enzymes, and enzymes need those changes in temperature. So if we have a 99.9 .9 degree fever, that level of enzymes has been activated, and it's going to jumpstart your immune system at that level. As your fever goes up another level, you're actually going to see a greater increase in the immune function and your body's going to try even harder to try to fight that disease or that, um, that microbe out of your body. And so we want to continue to let those fevers rise. A fever can get as high as 104 or 105 and be okay as long as a child or an adult is responding well. Um, there's no harm in a high fever. But there's a fear throughout our country that a high fever can create problems when all the research shows that it necessarily, it may not necessarily create any problems at all. The Academy of um, Pediatrics actually recommends that we allow fevers to run their course because of the importance of them and the importance of allowing the body to function well. So as you can see on our whiteboard today, what we're talking about today is the benefits of fever and it's going to incre increase the number of white blood cells. It's also going to impair the replication of the viruses and the bacteria. So we're actually going to slow the ability of the viruses and bacteria down into how quickly they can begin to replicate. If we slow down how fast they replicate, our body has a better chance of fighting them off. Um, an increase in temperature is also going to directly kill the microbes. So as we increase the temperature, we're not only going to activate our immune system, but we're also killing those microbes because those microbes only live at certain temperatures. And as the higher our fever gets, the less likely they are to be able to live. And the last thing it's going to do is it's going to increase your antibodies. And your antibodies are going to be the parts of your immune system that actually go and attach to foreign microbes or viruses, and it helps the body identify them. So you can see that as we raise a fever, we're actually helping our body begin to fight things off. So more importantly than giving your child a Tylenol or taking Tylenol yourself to lower that fever is to rest, drink lots of water, and make sure that you give yourself enough time and allow your body to run its course naturally. Because after the fever runs its course, your immune system is actually going to be stronger. So that should that bacteria or virus get back in your system, you're gonna be able to fight that off faster. It may not even affect you because your body's built up an immunity to it. So let that fever run its course deal with the heat for a day or two and allow your body to function the way it was intended.